behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. We recently received a viewer email that read in part, please consider doing a feel good, thankful story. We need these. Mm -hmm. It involves a grateful family despite having a young boy with leukemia. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas has this tearjerker. Brace yourself. Here's the Kleenex. <laughs> and ready. how you can help out. Sit down, please. Meet the Schroeder family. D Y L A N Dylan. <laughs> Dylan is six, three year old Clara. Joanna and Fred are mom and dad. They're your typical suburban family. But here's where our story takes a sad twist. Dylan is battling leukemia. He has been for three years. There were some very dark days. He didn't look like himself. Uh, he couldn't go up our stairs. We had to put him in his own bed because he couldn't get in. Yeah, that was awful. Despite the disease, Dylan's a fighter. Where is it? Can you point to it? He's pointing to his port, used to draw blood and add medicine. There you go, muscles. He would actually take the vials and syringes and help the nurses. He found happiness in that, you know, made the best of it. We both swear that the first word he ever said as a baby was ninja. That fitting first word coupled with a positive attitude and infectious smile led to the nickname, Ninja Dylan. He's gonna kick cancer in the butt as a ninja. Ninja Dylan is about to defeat his enemy. He's just a few days from his last chemo treatment. This is going to be the last one. The last yeah. pill, and then his family is ready to celebrate. Well, what does Dylan think about kicking cancer's butt? Good! While Dylan let his thumbs talk when it came to cancer, he's happy to chat about his truck collection. And then it has a siren. I can put it down. You see, the kid loves trucks and big machines. I think he would pick a construction site over at Disney World. COVID canceled any thoughts of an end of treatment party. Instead, mom and dad are planning a parade outside their Arlington Heights home on November 29th. They're thinking bigger than just friends and family. We have some met mixers, cranes, tow trucks, sweet street sweepers, moving trucks, anything trucks. that's big and cool. The true meaning of giving thanks, family, a return to health and a smiling little boy. He's gonna be done, he's over, it's finished. He can live a normal life in a COVID world now. A normal life, that's definitely worth two big thumbs up. Tim McNicholas, CBS Two News. I wish kids never had to fight that, but I'm glad that he is a ninja. By the way, the parade is a surprise for Dylan, so if you know him, shh, don't spoil the secret, okay? And if you have a big truck or a cool car, what do they say, like a dumpster truck, anything that you want to take part in Dylan's Kick Cancer's butt parade, go to our website where you're gonna find his dad's email to get in touch with the family so we can all join in here. You'll also find the email in our new app. You can look for the section called Morning Insiders.